Gentlemen, and the odd lassie, welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to go over something I've heard a lot about snap-on wrenches. Namely, the open end here deflects less than other brands. Therefore, snap-on's the best and you should buy it. Is that fact or fiction? So this deflects less than this on the open end. Snap on fanboys, grab a chair. It's completely false. Completely false. And get this, it doesn't matter the brand. As long as the cross section's the same and it's made of forged, not cast steel, they will all deflect the same. That's right. They will all deflect the same amount as long as the cross section, which you can see here, is the same for this gear wrench. Okay, it's no thinner, it's no wider in the prongs. Even this Mastercraft, it's the same. And I know these two are both forged steel. This one could be cast, but I'll get back to that later. So these will deflect the same amount. Okay, and I'm gonna explain why. I never said they'll break at the same amount of stress, but they will deflect the same amount. Therefore, they will perform the same. This is non-flank drive. Okay, so this is a older snap-on. So this will open up no more, no less than any other steel forge wrench. And it all comes down to one, for one reason. The reason is the modulus of elasticity of steel. It's a constant, guys. It's a constant. Okay, now I'm going to dumb this down for the guys that sat at the back of the class or the non-engineers. I know that's a technical world, word. So modulus of elasticity. What is it? It's a characteristic of a material. It doesn't vary with the quality of the material. It's a characteristic of the material, okay? So, you can see here, steel carbon, 200 megapascal. Alloy steel, 200 megapascal, okay? Now, it's ductile iron, it's slightly less, but steels are all the same. It doesn't say snap-on steel and cheap steel and Chinese steel, they're all the same. You see aluminum is one third the value. That's why aluminum flexes a lot more. Okay, so once again, modulus has elasticity. Okay, what is it? Well, I'm gonna explain. It's used in a deflection calculation of a beam. This is a well-known deflection calculation for a cantilever beam, which is what you can assume are inches. Okay, right here, that's the formula. So what is the formula? Force times the length, so the length of the beam, okay, divided by 3E, that's your modulus right there, E, I. So if that's the same, the force we're applying, the length of the wrench is the same, E is the same no matter what the steel is, okay, and I is the cross section. It's, it's actually moment of inertia. It's a cross section of the beam and depends how it's, I don't want to get into all the details, uh, but a little interesting thing about moment of inertia. Same part, if you load something this way, a force like this, it's much stronger because moment of inertia is B H cube. The length, is perpendicular to force, so that's the H cubed. If you load it like this, it's much meeker, weaker. It deflects a lot, but anyways. Okay, getting back to this, E is the same. So what is E? I've drew this stress versus strain graph, okay? And the slope is your E. This is a steel, this is an aluminum, okay? Now I'm going to draw, let's say, a cheap steel. So for that, this will, let's say, 
go like this and like this. So what does this mean? This is when you load the part because of a stress, force over area. And if you load it to this stress and release it, it'll come back down and there will be no permanent strain. So no permanent deflection. So it's the same. It's like when you're using a tool and you don't bend it, you go up and down this curve, okay? So on a cheaper one, you can go up and down. As long as you don't go into this range here, this is permanent deflection, guys. Because when you come back down, you're permanently deflected. That means you bent the rod or steel or whatever it is. So this is, let's say, cheap steel. This is your snap-on steel that everyone thinks is stronger. Maybe it is. Who knows? But you see here, this slope is the same. This is the modulus. This is E. Stress over strain is this. Stress over strain is equal to E. And therefore, the deflection is only based on your modulus of elasticity. Okay? Now, people say, well, um, a good quality wrench will break at a higher stress value. Absolutely. It just might be. Because when you're breaking something, well, first of all, the ultimate breakage is at this point here. So I drew a cheap steel, and this is, let's say, a good quality steel. This is at a higher stress. It can take more stress. I'm not debating that. I'm not debating that. But what I'm saying is the deflection is the same. And that I know for sure. Okay, hopefully I still have you guys here. And for all the snap-on lovers, I know you're hurt. Okay? But this is the facts. And you can't dispute the fact. Okay? If you really want to dive into this, I'll explain more. After this slope, you see how it's linear here? Anytime you're using the tool, you want to be in this range, in the linear range. Okay? That means you're stressing it, but you're not permanently straining. You're bending it, but it comes back. Anytime you go beyond this, okay, you permanently bend it. So another good quality, uh, a good uh, characteristic of a good quality tool is it's more ductile. Okay, so you could have, let's say, a steel do this, and then it breaks here. Okay. You see the area under the curve is how ductile it is. This, okay, it has the same slope. It's a different steel. It broke at the same, actually it broke at a lesser stress, but you can see here the, the area under the curve is a lot less. So this is a lot less ductile than this. So you want something with a high stress and a high area under the curve, okay? You want to see it give. If you had something like this, you know what? This is not steel, because number one, the slope's different, but it also failed a lot quicker. You don't want that, okay? Because it doesn't give you much warning. It'll fail much quicker and hurt yourself. But is that steel? Nope. Why? Because the slope is different, okay? So remember that, guys. This is not opening any less than any other wrench because of the modulus elasticity. Thanks for watching. I hope no one's offended. If you want to debate me, no problem, okay? I saw a lot of videos on open-end wrenches and you're comparing flank drives to non-flank drives. Of course it's gonna win, but don't say it opens less. A complete horseshit, all right? Thanks for watching. If you want to do your own video and measure that, good luck. I don't know how you can, it's so minute. But I guarantee you I'm correct. The theory doesn't lie. Thanks for watching. Take care. Like, subscribe, share. Spread the knowledge, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.